Hi, this is Janneke from Sugar Punch, and you're watching Surprise Radio, your number one source for independent, underground, unsigned, and underrated music and bands. Please subscribe and enjoy the show. Hey everybody, surprise here real quick. I thought I'd pump it, pop in real quick and just kind of give you a warning that this video is a lot different than usual. Most of the time I don't talk over the music. I had a guest with me and they made it clear from the beginning that they wanted to talk while the music was playing and that was fine. That's totally cool. But if you're wanting to hear the music and not our commentary, this is not the surprise radio show for you. I just wanted to give everybody a warning. There's nothing wrong with talking through it. If anything, that helps with the, you know, copyrights and things like that, saying that I altered it, whatever. I don't really care. I don't really do this for copyrights and things like that. I do it so that you can discover new music. But we don't talk through the whole thing. We don't talk through the whole song. None of the songs we talk all the way through, but we do talk while the songs are on. And again, I just wanted to warn you. So anyway, uh, yeah, enjoy the show. Hey everybody, welcome back. Surprise here with a special guest. Michael, thank you so much for joining me today. Hi, how's it going? Uh, we're just going to be checking out some music. Michael's just a friend from the same town as me. We're going to check out some music today. Um, tell me, what's your favorite concert you've ever been to? Um, That's a tough one. It probably has to be because it was my introduction into metalcore i accidentally went to see norma jean and me without you in 2000 or 2001 um and that 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 one probably stands out in my mind the most cool i just thought we'd get a little taste of 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 what it is that that you really get into or that surprised you that's that's what surprised me was when i went to see uh skindred i went to see seether and skindred opened for him and i was just blown away so i love it when you get a good surprise like that yeah all right, well, we're just going to get into it this week. Uh, up this week, we have Designer Disguise, Semblant, Slaughterhouse, Major Moment. We're going to kick things off with Karma. Karma is a band that I'm really interested in. It involves two former members of Eternal Frequency. I loved Eternal Frequency. They had a really good sound, and this is their new band. So this is Karma with their song, Silence. All right, let's get into it. Yeah, they're good. The kind of frequency is good, so I'm loving them. Silence is the killer. Drop to the bass player that doesn't use a pick. Electronics are good. Yeah, Oh. Okay. Oh, what is the name of that band? The singer, I recognize the singer. Okay. This is basically a super band. <laughs> Independent super band. I love that. Super professional. Well, because putting that in somebody's garage for sure.
Metal Core Blast. I feel like at a point and and when I was listening to music and even now still making music but by myself and I played in bands for years that there got to be a point to where when you create music I feel like it maybe it was just the era but the, in the early 2000s and you know through the early 2010s there was this gatekeeper mentality that like if it wasn't too heavy or if it wasn't heavy enough that you didn't like it. And so that kind of fluid structure that new metal made great, everyone kind of shunned because they thought they were better than it. But, you know, the older I've gotten, I'm, I've started to appreciate that kind of structure. And like, you know, you can kind of feel when that build is coming or when that end is coming. And yeah. it's just, it's like watching a familiar TV show, you know, it's like, true. you when they nail it, it it really just like you're like yes, you know that's, that's true, and that's that's, to me. that's a really good debut song. That's their debut single for their new band, so that's a really good yeah. start. I feel really bad that I can't remember the name of the band from the the singers in, but um, and I joked about them being a super group. It's just because both bands that I know for sure were represented there, Eternal Frequency, and the other one, and I apologize for forgetting it. Were both really good. So it's kind of awesome to see them team up and, and put together a band. Yeah. Up next, we have Major Moment. Now, I know that this is one of my favorite bands that I've found doing this. I've heard a few of their songs. Um, I don't know if you've heard Major Moment or not. Is it a cover? No, this is not a cover. I don't do. Okay, I don't I'll have. Here. I don't have any covers on here. Well, there's a, you know, like, there, like it's been happening for 15 years in the music industry, but, you know, bands, like, especially if you look at a band like Opera Vale, they did a Taylor Swift cover, and then now they're, like, an, actually an original band that headlines tours and stuff, so I didn't know if, when you said it was, it, anyway, go ahead. Well, what's, <laughs> what's, what's the lyric? What major lyrics? moment? Is, are you saying major moment? Oh, no, is... I don't, I don't... No, I just said you said something that that is it's something that's been done in the past, and I was like, oh wait, is it a oh, cover? No, I meant yeah. that I've I've featured them in the past. Is what I meant. Oh, gotcha. I've featured them in the past. Um, this is their newest song, "Victim." Major moment is from the Boston area, and I really like them. I think you're gonna like them. I got a little Boston in me too. See that. Full disclosure, I have heard the song, but I've not seen the video. Gotcha. Yeah. 
Let's see if I can hear you a little better now. Does that affect your ability to hear the song? No, see, every time I talk, the song cuts out. Oh, it does it? I don't know if you can hear or not. I was just saying the vocals have been a little bit underwhelming so far, but the video is great. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I think it's about to pick up. Thanks, partner. There we go. but how underwhelming it was as opposed to when they did the breakdown with the head vocals. Now it seems to really shine, I guess. Yeah. It, it, it's like it made it match it better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a very good, like, like crescendo, like an entire song and went all the way up. Okay, yeah. Now I remember... And like architect vibes at the end too, which is kind of strange to hear Lincoln Park and architects in the same sentence, but not really anymore if you look at it. I mean, I mean, I don't know how big of a fan of Lincoln Park you were, but those guys well, it's made funny, a huge it's, It is funny you say that because I got to interview Major Moment. The um, two singers are a married couple. Both of them are from Russia and neither okay. of them knew each other before they moved here i don't think i don't remember the whole story exactly but they met through a lincoln park message board <laughs> so that's awesome. but that's if you cool. even look at bands like uh, bring me the horizon now it's they they can pretty much just do whatever the fuck they want to do in music mm -hmm. and their major holly sykes's biggest influence is lincoln park yeah yeah they definitely have talking. some of that influence I think I remember now why I wanted to play that song. There, that's his best scream. I've never heard him scream like that. So I was I was impressed with his scream, and it, I think that is what made me like the song. Was once he screamed, it made the rest of the song right. Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. So for I, I, sure. I hear what you're saying there. Yeah. Up next is Slaughterhouse. This is a Los Angeles-based band, and this is their song Poison. It's hard for me to judge punk music because I don't, you know, I'm not a biggest fan of punk music, so I feel bad when I say anything about it. Well, I think I have to look at it in two different situations. You have to look at the ones that started it and did it, that got spit on and hated, and you look at the ones that are modern now, like nowadays. They're copying an art. 
and are they doing it well or are they doing it justice? I was never big enough to punk a whole lot. Anyway, I like pop, pop punk a lot, but like yeah. that gutter punk kind of stuff, never really my thing. Hardcore no. punk, yes, but yeah. this kind of stuff, not really. But they're doing a good homage to the genre by doing this. They look cool to do it, and I mean, I feel like they're doing it their way, and I like that. Absolutely. The girls. Yeah, I, I like it. They're doing it their way, and it sounds are authentic. Yeah. But, yeah, because I don't really like punk very much, I don't feel... I don't know, almost don't feel authorized to give my opinion on it. <laughs> because it, it's hard. It's like going there to a museum and like looking at art or like, I feel like I could do this at my own house, you know, um, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, but, but for some reason, somebody that, years ago liked it. So, and they do a great job at paying tribute. So having said that, I'm a fan of a band like Fugazi and I feel like that music was a bit in line with something you could listen to along with Fugazi. So I'm Absolutely. down for it. It dropped that straight edge punk and had to be so aggressive in your minute. Your songs had to be less than a minute and 20 seconds to mm -hmm. just chilling out and seeing what, seeing the noises your guitar can make, you know, it's pretty cool. Up next is Semblant. I'm not a hundred percent sure I'm going to be able to actually leave this in. This is a Brazilian band. They're a lot bigger than I realized when I added them to the list, but we're going <laughs> to give it a try anyway. Um, yeah. yeah. This is their song, The Human Eclipse, and I thought it was pretty poignant to play this this week after we just had an eclipse. What was it? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Let's The Human it. Eclipse by Semblant. <laughs> Sounds very European already. Oh yeah, Swedish, Swedish thrash. Yeah. Oh. It's a good riff, though. <laughs> yeah. Sound, you're right. Yes, yeah. Yeah, like, like early Gojira or like even some like a Monomar in there. Yeah. Maybe a little more polished though, because the clean boat is kind of added a little something yeah. different than yeah. those uh, like, uh, four. Norwegian operatic. Yeah.
probably wouldn't add this to a playlist if I'm if I'm being honest. Oh. That is what that cool little video <laughs> Not gonna lie, I think we get the gist. <laughs> yeah. We know uh, what you're gonna do now. We got it. <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of operatic metal. No, I really like it. Metal. It all sounds the that. same to me. Mm -hmm. It all sounds. But I've got a really good friend me. who's a. Uh, he's actually a fairly successful musician. He's on. He well, he started out on. Uh, Blood Records, and then he went to Century Media, and now he's on Metal Blade. But he does like gothic kind of synth wave kind of stuff, and it, mm -hmm. it's just not my thing, man. I mean, he's talented, and, and but it's just not more my power thing. to the people that are into it. It's just saying yeah. I can only his I records a lot of it. They're autographed, and I've never oh, that's cool. It. It's not my thing. <laughs> that's cool. Um, yeah. yeah. You know, and it's nothing against anybody that's into it or that does it. I just, I can't, just like what I was, that's why I kind of laughed. I was just saying with pop, with um, punk music, I'm not really someone mm -hmm. to comment because it's not my thing. I feel like this isn't something I can comment on because it's not my thing. <laughs> and until like, and I, I'm, I was the same way until pop punk came out and there was actually melodies and stuff. Like I couldn't get into it either. Even pop punk, it has to be the right. I mean, there's only like Offspring and... Uh, maybe five or six of those that do it right. The rest of it all sounds exactly the same right. to me too. Yeah. But we're going to close things out with designer disguise. Oh, I lied to you. This is a cover. <laughs> Oops. I completely forgot. This is a black eyed peas cover. It's called boom, boom, pal. This is, yeah. Um, oh, this is a, this is a Seattle based band. Go ahead. You, you you know this song you said? I know the song. I don't know the cover. Yeah. Okay. I'm yeah. not, I don't even know that I know the song, but it, I might recognize it once it starts playing. I'm like that with pop music. Um, Designer yeah. Disguise is on In Vogue Records. And like I said, this is their song, Boom Boom Pow. Gotta get that. Gotta get that. You know this song. Gotta get I don't think I do. I'll send you the original. Oh, give me the card. You know. This is not bad, though. I really like this. I'm so and I got that boom, boom, boom. That future boom, boom, boom. Let me get it now. This kind of shows how crazy it is that you can translate music like this. But if you've heard the original version, I'll send it to you. It's super poppy and like fancy, like love anthem kind of. You hear this, and now it sounds like a motion. But it's the same structure and same build of the original. I don't know. I just think that it's neat the way that they're able to. It's incredible. Go back like 10 seconds. Can you do that? I missed that breakdown. I was running my mouth. Yeah, just a second. Oh, I can't find the beginning of it. Okay. Okay. 
Little <laughs> mashup. <laughs> what the fuck? This was a fun cover. Yeah. Come on. This was cool. Yeah. Like a blizzard. When we drink, we do it right. Getting slizzards. If you're going to do a cover, it needs to be something fun like this. We need to at least make it your own. Yeah. Not just copy. Yeah. Oh, I've heard this part. I don't know if it's the same song or not. But it's kind of all that same style of music. Yeah. It was all in the same era of like the early 2000s. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, this sounds like a, a surprise hit. That was cool. I don't that know if you can market it like that, though. I mean, it's like a couple of covers together. I mean, I, that's what I was saying like about that band, I Prevail. They released a cover of Blank Space by Taylor Swift, and you know, they probably had a couple of songs before that, but like they, they headline tours now, like mm -hmm. worldwide tours and stuff, so... If that's what gets you started and like gets you broke through. Yeah, the right cover never, can do that for you. Never let anybody call you a sellout for just wanting to make money off something you love to do. And Alien Ant Farm's biggest hit is Smooth Criminal, and they're a damn good band, and that's a damn good cover. So point in case, sir. Michael, thank you so much for joining me today. This was a lot of fun. This is gonna end Congrats. soon, so I'm gonna cut it short, but uh what was your what was your favorite one, do you think? The um I like I now I don't have the list in front of me. I like the first one a lot. Yeah. Uh this kind of super band that you said. I think my favorite surprise was the one where I talked about. I mean, it's always great when you're like, mm, I'm not really into this, and then boom, it happens. And you're like, oh, I'm I dig it now. So that band that major uh, moment. Was that the couple the link that met on Lincoln yes. Park? Yes. Was, Link, yes. Yeah. Major that moment. That was probably my favorite. Yep. That was my favorite. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I really enjoyed the first one too by Karma. Um yeah. that was a really good song. I'm gonna be adding that one for sure. And uh that cover at the end three, three, just four, really and three, four, toss up. Yeah. That cover but, at the end uh, was a lot of fun. Yeah, one, two, and five were, were really good. Now I have to get that list from me so I can do a little more All right, you know, we'll research. Do. Will do. And uh, everybody that's watching, all of that information is in the description below. So make sure to check that out when this comes out. And until next time, y'all have a good one.